The only raw materials that were used in former times for the production of paper were rags made of cotton, linen, or flax. The preparation was very laborious, with only a few technical aids. Paper production came to be called the white art. Sheet by sheet, paper was molded by hand, an activity that required great skill and experience from the mill's master craftsmen. The couchmen stacked the sheets alternatively with felt marks and passed them to the press. In laborious manual work, about 3,000 sheets of paper were made in daily shifts of 15 hours. To be able to use the paper for writing, the surface had to be coated and smoothed after drying. Only then was writing paper really ready. Up to the beginning of the 19th century, these methods remained largely unchanged. It was only with the construction of a machine for the production of endless paper webs in 1799 that the Industrial Revolution also began in the white art. This era was substantially shaped by Voigt through many inventions and innovations, and in this way, the development of paper machines was lastingly influenced. A modern paper machine from Voigt has impressive dimensions and produces paper in inconceivable quantities. However, the individual working steps have changed little. The stock is today produced from mechanical pulp, rayon staple, or recovered paper, and provided with additives for certain paper properties, cleaned and refined again and again, and fed in large quantities to the paper machine. In the former, the stock is applied to the wire. This is where the web, which still consists of 98% water, starts to be drained. This operation can be compared to conventional hand molding. In the press, in exactly the same way as in the past, water is pressed out of the paper by the application of high pressure. However, today a paper web runs through the press nips at a speed of more than 100 kilometers per hour. When the web has been sufficiently drained by mechanical means, the drying process begins. Of course, there is no longer any air drying. The time is not sufficient for this. We lead the web over a row of heated cylinders so that the moisture is evaporated at high speed. At the end of the dryer group, the paper still has a residual moisture content of 3 to 4 percent. For the application of size or coating color, Voigt has developed several methods. In this case, the fluid is applied to the paper by two rolls. This technique is reliable, precise, very fast and suitable for many paper grades. Can you still remember how the master paper maker smoothed the sheets that were undulated by the coating color manually with the agate stone sheet by sheet? Today we call this process calendaring with the paper not only being smooth but also receiving super calendaring and a surface gloss for high quality grades. The paper is now ready for cutting to size and released for wrapping. You see, the white art has remained largely unchanged for centuries. Further developments have been made only in the way the individual steps are carried out and therefore, of course, the production rate and the quality of the paper have changed. In former times, about 3,000 sheets of paper per day were produced. Now, this Voigt paper machine alone produces more than 350 million sheets of first-class paper.